Hello everybody and welcome to this DIY build setup video to show you how to make one of these DIY cymatic setups. So everything I have in the materials list is out here. We've got the PVC pipe that goes into making the stand for the light ring. As you can see that slides up and down and using an O-ring on the shaft you can actually set that to any height you want. The idea is that you have a, a light ring, a selfie ring that would clip on to a board like this so that when you look down through, you be centered on your cymatic setup. So the idea with this build is to show you what you can do with items around the house and uh, simple items that you can get off the internet uh, to make this entire build happen. So as you can see, I've got a build here in process. The main thing is that we've got a platform and some sort of structure to hold a speaker. And on the speaker, we're going to put a bottle top, a threaded bottle top, carefully leveling that bottle top on the speaker so that once that bottle top's on the speaker, we can actually screw on different attachments. So as we can see, I've got different pans here, pan sizes that are all attached to these uh, bottle top lids so that when I screw them on I can, I can take them off and have various different cup attachments and so I can have a two inch diameter, one inch diameter, two and a half inch diameter or I can get rectangular, square, triangle, whatever kind of containment you want. You could use a seashell as long as you center the lid in uh, on the cup. So as you can see I've got a center mark there so that I can maintain center. If your cup is off to one side or another, then your fluid will wobble and you won't have uh, exact vertical oscillations. So the first step of your build is you want to create the platform. So as you can see, I've got a plywood platform here. I've got two sheets of plywood here so that I can cut a hole in the top sheet and set this PVC construction down into that. And the idea with this PV PVC construction is that it's just to hold the speaker and to create some sort of a baffle region for the speaker so that as it's motioning and moving that it, it can actually create uh, air movement. And as we see, I've got some holes drilled in the bottom so that the, uh, the baffle can work, so the air can move through. And so we've got the speaker wire running through and then out the bottom so that that can connect to the amp. So I've got a little mini amp there on the materials list that's plenty of uh, powerful enough to drive these little speakers and uh, with fluid on top. So the idea is that you get a speaker and you need to connect uh, the speaker wire to that and then set that down into this housing. When you wire your speaker, you want to put your speaker wire on with some sort of solder or other attachment there. And then you're going to put it down through your baffle construction here. And you want to simply level this as best you can. So having some sort of a small bubble level is going to be helpful for when you're doing this. I have a small bubble level that I took out of a tool so that I can actually place it well within the speaker there. And so when you go and place that speaker into this chamber here, you're going to have that as level as possible and then just glue that around at the contact spots. And then what I did was just put some hot glue around here to kind of seal any kind of moisture to go going down in there. And so once you have your speaker level, you'll put it in there and glue it in and that'll basically uh, be the end of your transducer slash speaker system. And then you can wire your amplifier. So I've made a platform that's large enough to hold the speaker set up, the amplifier, and the light ring stand. So once you have your baffle um, in containment area set up there and you've got your speaker set in, then you're going to just have that all glued in and secure in there. And so I'm actually adding in uh, a light stand into this platform uh, secondarily. I originally had planned not to add a light stand, but um, now I'm going to add one. So 
I'm just going to take this PVC here and I've cut it down to length and I'm going to drill a hole through the top layer here and set that in well with uh, some glue. But that's not going to be enough so I'm going to use shelf brackets like I've done here on this setup and using those brackets allow me to guarantee that this is vertical and level. And so I've also got brackets here on the underside of my set up here where the PVC is connected to my platform. So the idea is that you just basically need to get a speaker that's stable and level and have some sort of attachment thing attached to it so that you can take various sizes of cups and screw on here and be able to see that from above and I'm using a, a cell phone so I put my cell phone on this platform if you're using an actual camera you're gonna need a tripod system to get that perfectly aligned there on top and so if you're building this you knowing that you're gonna have a tripod system you could probably just have a very small base here just enough that it's not going to wobble as the speaker is going and then that way you can set your tripod directly over the entire system and perhaps have a little space for your amp but the idea here is that we're going to put this PVC tube down in there and that'll be secure with the brackets and then we've got a secondary tube that's attached to the platform and by allowing that to go in like that we're going to put o-rings on the top tube so that we can raise it to wherever we want and it'll stop right there. And here's the platform that I'm preparing. So as you can see it's got this curved section marked here that I'm going to cut that out and that way a selfie light ring can either clip on or a butt into this like this. And so it'll be somewhat like this. Um, this was a very quick job that I did on this uh, piece here. But the idea is that the platform I've got it marked there and so it'll basically sit right on there and it'll be perfectly aligned so that when the camera is looking down it'll capture exactly center part, center mark there and I guess the one last thing I would say and recommend doing is uh, spraying all of your surfaces with some sort of ceramic um, low reflection spray and so that could either be uh, on this one I've got a chalkboard spray this one I'm trying, this ceramic uh, Rust-Oleum high heat spray. The idea is that as you're looking down with your camera, you're going to be seeing reflections off the board here. And so if you minimize those reflections with some sort of a black matte spray, then your images will come out that much more crisp. So again, the setup is having a speaker that's somehow contained in a baffle region and also raised up so it'll allow you to um, get better view with your light ring so that you've got some space here. That speaker is connected to a wire which is then connected to your amplifier. The amplifier allows you your aux cable out or in as well as RCA cable there so if you want to put in some sort of a signal generator you've got that and it's got two channels this particular amp has two channels so I could technically run two speakers and so my next setup as you can see this swivels my next setup will have two speakers here so I can just swivel this from one to the other and flip the channels on the amplifier there and that way I can send audio to two different kinds of speakers at the same time so that's the setup all of this materials all of these materials cost me sixty dollars um, if you find that you can get materials around the house. I've got these this wood laying around so that helped save some. Uh, I built this previously and so it allowed me to have some extra brackets available and if you get your PVC right you can make several different stands um, with the same amount of length that you need to purchase minimum. So that's this basic setup. I'll show some pictures of different stages along the way and of course I've got various different live events uh, planned for you to check out what needs to happen here <clears throat> but the main absolutely the main idea is to make sure everything is level so I've got little feet on here so that I can raise and lower them depending on what kind of table situation I'm on but if you've got a pan that's not level and it's slightly off 
as it's going up and down, it's going up and down at an angle, and so more of your fluid's going to be over there. So you need to make sure everything is exactly centered and level. So again, if your cup is not off center here, the more the force is going to be in the middle, so your cup will be moving like this. So the idea is you need to get this exactly centered, exactly level, so all of your motion is just in the vertical direction. All right, and here's the final setup. As you can see, we've got the platform attached to the PVC tubing inside the other PVC tubing so that we can just raise and lower that. And we've got these O-rings here on that tube. And by placing those at different positions, you can actually allow this to stop at whatever height that you want from about a little over a foot to, it can get down all the way down to four inches. And as you can see, the PVC baffle speaker setup is here. We've got a cup here screwed on to the top. And this is just glue and epoxy to keep from uh, liquids from going down beyond the speaker. But as you can see, the plastic bottle top is attached to the speaker, which is setting inside this top PVC. The wire goes down through and out the back end, and that is what you'll connect to your amp. And then, of course, I've got uh, brackets here on the PVC. This is in the top layer of the base, as well as this PVC piece. The brackets are assuring that we have um, a good 90 degree angle both in both perpendicular directions. And that way, when we put your cell phone on here, it's not going to be all wobbly. It's going to guarantee a good connection there and good centering. And then, of course, you can spin this out of the way and access your cup and then put that back on. And the idea is that this is routed out to, or cut out to be exactly the same size as a typical light ring. And so the idea is that you're going to use your light ring and set that up. And as you can see, it just fits in there perfectly. And it's centered over the cup. And so the idea is that you'll have your light ring in position in here in whatever way you can do it. And then you'll have your cell phone set up here, looking straight down into the cup. And so when you put your cup on there, you'll put your fluid in and your cell phone will be right centered down below there. And that's the idea. So this is the simple DIY cymatic setup that you can do for around $60 to $80 depending on how you source your materials. And it is the basics of what you need to get cymatics going on at home. Let me know if you have any questions.